Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm DCSG81 and welcome to another toy review and this time we are looking at the Iron Man 3 Iron Patriot uh, which is not a new figure uh, as in this is not something new it was released before last time so this is not even a 2.0 it's just a reissue okay so I believe uh, quite a number of you are actually looking for this piece here and I also seen some after release price which has gone up quite crazy <laughs> Actually, I really um not really interested in getting him, which is why I miss out the first release uh which is I think years ago yeah so this time but because I'm completing uh my Iron Man uh armor I know this is not Iron Man this is a war machine but I just feel that it's kind of nice to add uh this very very uh, patriotic <laughs> look to my Iron Man collection which includes the war machines okay so I think it looks pretty good uh, which is why I'm grabbing him first of all we'll take a look at the box I believe the box is something new uh, I'll try to search for the previous release box that you can see on the screen right now so from the box wise I think it looks pretty good and this uh, QR code I have just scanned it just now it looks pretty interesting because it actually brings me to the uh, Tamashi Nation Japan website which have quite a lot of cool stuff that you can see right now okay so they actually have uh, lots of info lots of pictures on on all the uh, previous releases of the end game uh, figures as well as some of the new one like the uh, cap versus cap um, Captain America <laughs> you can see some pictures there so it looks pretty cool though I will leave the URL of the the link in my description below okay maybe you can check it out later and here you can see Iron Man 3 Iron Patriot okay and the Tamashi Nation quality control the very nice uh, stickers there from the side here there's nothing much as well as this side there's nothing much as well okay so at the back you can see all the cool poses that you already seen when you pre-order this guy here so it comes with quite a number of uh, standard effects okay these are pretty standard i would say okay now let's open this guy up okay so this is the iron patriot right out of the box let's take a closer look wow okay at the first glance when i took him out of the box i immediately noticed that the paint has uh, been improved uh, I'm not saying that the old one is bad because I don't have the old one but I clearly think that this one is looking very very good okay all the metallics paint that some uh, I'm not sure whether it's showing on the camera but it's a real metallic look of it okay looking very very nice okay wow just look at the paints um, very distinctive red and blue okay there's no um, what do I call over paint or something like that which is very very nice Ooh. okay so if you are a person who like this kind of paint i think this is a good one just look at all the uh, painting that they actually put it on wow okay very very nice i'm not sure whether the out reactor is supposed to be um just white inside but in the helmet you can actually see uh, yeah it's also white <laughs> okay okay other than that I think it looks pretty good wow okay so this gun here is a separate piece that I just put it on you can actually put it either on the left or the right side okay it's up to you okay and of course it's movable okay however you want it to be okay very cool at first I was thinking that it can be you know move around okay but no <laughs> there isn't okay so let's take a look at the articulations okay so for the articulation as always we'll go through the heads first so uh, same like any Iron Man he can actually move pretty much because it's just a uh, uh, there's a pack here wow so the neck actually move better this time I think if I'm not wrong he can actually look all the way down and he can actually looks all the way up for flying poses okay yeah and if you want to see so this is a joint very very long so if he can actually move around freely I think it's a good idea okay no problem looking left and right okay as for the hands there is a very standard ah uh, there's a butterfly joint not sure if you can see it 
yep it's moving as you move along very very nice of course you can turn all the way 360 degrees there's a shovel here you can see okay of course this is movable again be very very careful because it doesn't look very <laughs> solid there yeah seems fragile okay there's a double joint elbow nicely done there okay wow okay and then uh, of course his hand is movable okay then the torso you can move around freely and and the waist you can even turn okay let's see how well you can bend maybe this uh, this much bending forwards uh, there's some gap here already okay bending backwards yep, for flying poses I think it's pretty good yep very very nice there's no gap or whatsoever here okay as for the legs uh, yep there's a pull down mechanism that you can see right now okay for more articulations okay you can kick uh, slightly more than 90 degrees okay kicking back no problem as well yep okay but if you didn't pull down the legs that is pretty limited it will be blocked here so be very careful because you don't want to scratch off any of the pains so you better remember that you can pull it down before you do a kicking pose okay and same goes for the back okay then there's some uh shovel here if i'm not mistaken yep on the tight you can see oh these are movable as well so that it doesn't hinder if you want him to do a split let's try it now okay yep so you can do a perfect split there okay and also this one i don't think is uh yeah just be very very careful because uh, the joints holding on to it doesn't look very very solid okay yeah then uh, so there's a shiver as I mentioned double joint knee if I'm not mistaken yep very very nicely done you can see that again wow okay and then this is a movable piece so that you can do uh, his leg can go all the way back okay especially doing during the uh, flying poses okay just remember that uh these are movable okay and this piece here is also another movable piece on his leg okay so that he can kick all the way front okay and there's a toe hinge yeah it's very hard to move i think it's still very new oh sorry this is the most you can do okay so the toe hinge is just very slight movement here okay but still very nicely done i definitely loving the pain wow Okay. Yep. Now let's take a look at the accessories that it comes with. Okay. Okay. So this Iron Patriot actually comes with a uh, pretty standard accessory, I would say, uh, for Iron Man. Okay. So first of all, let's go through the hands. He comes with a pair of close fit hands that's already on the figure. Okay. Then he comes with a pair of uh, relaxed hands. Okay. That you can see, right here, and then a pair of. Um, Salute hand, I would say, <laughs> or karate chop hands, okay, or for him to salute, okay, and then a pair of hand for the blaster. They can see some packs here, okay. So these are for the uh, blaster that you can put it on just like this, very very simple, okay. And he comes with a uh, very standard three sets of uh, um, blaster effects. These two are for the uh, flying poses. Of course, the smaller ones are for the hands and the bigger ones are for his feet, okay? So these are for flying poses and these two are for the attack poses on his hands, okay? You can see right here. Yep. So this is how it should look like. Okay, very, very cool. And uh, the difference between Iron Man and War Machine is that they come with something extra, which is for his uh, backpack cannon. <laughs> you can put it right on. Very, very cool. Yeah. Okay. So this is the something extra for uh, war machines. Okay. Okay. So before I go into the size comparison, I would like to share something with you guys. This is definitely the same as the old uh war machine if i'm not mistaken because uh from what i notice is they are still using the same old methods for the hands so you can see the relaxed hands as well as the salute hands actually have holes on it why it's because they are sharing this same piece of thing 
that you are supposed to interchange every time you change the hand so you should you need to take this out uh, yep just like this okay so if you decided to use the uh, relax hands you need to put it on <laughs> okay because they are sharing it otherwise you will look very very odd with the holes on his hands so this is definitely the old design because many of us collector has been complaining about it even for iron man they have all these same symptoms whereby they are sharing this piece yep so uh after a while i think uh bandai or shv gods finally you know realized they should do something about it and all the newer iron man actually uh, have its own embedded into it okay so you don't have to do this switching anymore so all the newer iron man's have their own one just like this one they actually make it uh, already on there you know why because this is a different hand that instead of putting straight in like this you will actually have to put in bending forward because it's of the uh, shooting post so instead of putting in like this like any other hands this one you have to put it like this okay because it's actually shooting forwards okay something like this which is why they can't uh, do it something like this for you so they have to make something that is permanent to stick on it so you don't have to interchange it I'm not sure I think that's the reason why they are giving this as a permanent piece don't try to remove this one though although I'm not sure whether this is removable okay so don't try to remove it only the one that is on the uh, close fist hand you can remove it okay Yep, so this is definitely something old, the old design. If this, if they have uh, made something as a new one, I think they should have at least improved it like how it used to be right now, okay? But they didn't even bother to do it for us. So this is definitely an old mold. Okay, for the size comparison, let's start off with some Iron Man. I have the SHV Guards Mark 85 right here, which scale pretty well, and also the Mark 50 with all the awesome uh, nano weapon sets from Takara Tony. And right up next, we have the SHV Quartz uh, Captain America Endgame. Of course, the head is from Manipal. And then we have the Nota Studio Steve Rogers. Okay, which scale pretty well, I would say. And up next is the uh, Mesco Thor Ragnarok. <laughs> and the head is actually from the Marvel Legends sets. Okay, which uh, I think it looks pretty good, which is why I'm still using it. And then we have the SHV Gods uh, Fat Tall, which is in the battle mode. Okay. And right up next, we have some Mayfax Tony Stark. <laughs> of course, this is not a complete figure. I actually keep bash it. The body is, is actually from the Mayfax Kingsman Harry Heart, and the head is from the uh, Maniple, of course. Looking very good here. And then we have the uh, Mayfax Iron Spider. Okay. Again, the head is actually from uh, the Maniple. Okay, and right up next we have some Marvel Legends Stan Lee, which I have just recently reviewed. Yep. Okay, and then we also have my favorite uh, Black Widow. Okay, which is actually from the upcoming movies. Yep. Still waiting for the movie to be shown here actually. And I know you guys have been waiting for some comparison with the War Machines that I have. This is the War Machine Mark One, and uh, this is not from. SHV Guard, this is not from Rebel Tech, and this is from Hasbro actually. I bought it quite a long time ago, very very long time ago, okay, and it's looking very very good. I think it scaled pretty well though, okay, and also the only SHV Guards uh, war machine that I have, which is the Mark IV from the Infinity War, okay, I don't have any of the rest. This is the only one, and this is my sort of my second war machines, okay. And last but not least, of course, is the uh, Marvel Legends War Machine Mark VI, okay? And also the uh, the huge Iron Patriot, okay, for the uh, Endgame. Okay, you can see how big it is. I think a lot of you are waiting for SHV Quartz to make this. Uh, I'm actually also waiting for it. They are looking pretty good together, don't you think? So my final verdict for this Iron Patriot is... Um, Overall, I think it looks very nice in terms of the paint job like I showed you just now. Up close, it's like flawless painting with the metallic paint. I think it's looking very, very nice, especially under the lights you can see. 
Wow, okay. And other than that, I think it's almost the same as the uh, previous releases. Yep, so nothing different here. There is no new accessory, no new articulations. And even the hand, if it is quite a disappointment, they don't even bother to at least give us the new hand whereby you don't have to interchange this piece here, okay? So that's the disappointment. So I'm actually giving him an 8 out of 10, okay? So, uh, if you're asking for my opinion, I would say that if you don't have the old one, you should get this one, okay? Otherwise, if you already have the previous release of the Iron Patriot, I don't think you should waste money on this one because there's nothing different there. So I hope you like this very simple review of mine. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. And of course, always leave me any comments below if you have any further questions about this Iron Patriot. Uh, unfortunately, I can't tell you where you can get it now because it's almost sold out everywhere. I got mine pre-ordered in Army Army actually. So uh, I don't think there's still any left if I'm not wrong. The last few days I've checked it's already been sold out. Okay, and before you leave, I hope you will check out my playlist right over here and also do browse around my channel for more updates and also exciting videos that I will post uh, pretty much um, not every day anymore because of the uh, COVID-19 because uh, there is nothing much new to to show it to you guys but as you know i'm constantly um getting more ideas on how to make more videos not just about reviews i'm also um telling you guys about the latest news and i'll also do some comparison and things like that i'll try to make it more exciting for you guys to be hanging around in my channel okay <laughs> so i hope you will uh, actually check it out and then i'll see you in those videos bye